Hi everybody, Paul here. So I thought, I've always wanted to interview people and what better way to start than by interviewing my own mother who is currently over in sunny Yorkshire where she's uh, lived for many years. So I'm going to let my mother introduce herself and um, so what's your full name mother? It's Margaret Johnston Stewart Roger Doy. Which is spelt D O I G. Okay, and and you, right. and you and your were... married name is Mason. Oh, I know that mother. I've got the same name. So you were <laughs> you were born on the fifteenth of April, nineteen thirty nine, in Kakodi in Fife. That's right. What do you remember of that day? <laughs> I was a baby. I know you were a baby. I'm pulling your leg. So you were born. And um, shortly afterwards, World War Two started. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just pulling your leg. So you were born on April the fifteenth. Uh, war broke out in September of um, nineteen thirty-nine. So yeah. I, I want to talk a little bit first about your uh, about your dad. So that would be my uh, my great grandfather on on your side of the family. Um, so his name was James Doig. And yeah. um, he was born in 1919, and um, his parents were Himes and Mary Doig, and they were both yeah. born in Leven in Fife. Yeah. Okay, then what I have here next about your father is James was the eldest child and served in the army during World War II. Yeah, he drove tanks. Okay, so he was a, like a tank commander. Um, tank driver. <laughs> All right. Well, commander sounds good. Tank driver. I I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, he, he he was in World War Two and he drove tanks. So his his younger brother, Himes, he served in the Royal Navy. Yeah. And then he also had a a younger brother called Robert Doig, who unfortunately uh, was killed in World War Two. Uh, we believe it was in France, and he was um, walking along the side of a track. And uh, there was um, a tank going by, and it, it ran over a landman, and it was uh, uh, it was it was just bad luck. Oh yeah, absolutely, it was bad luck. I mean, just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Um So the tank went. They were up. moving from one place to another, and the tank was up the side of them. Yeah, so he he was crushed by the weight of the tank. You, yeah. you that was your uncle uh, Robert. Yeah. Um, and then there was um, a younger brother, uh, Samuel, who went by the nickname of Sammy. Yeah. And uh, he served in the Royal Navy also, the same as Himes. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he was, I, I think he was, he was an electrician or something like that. Yeah. So did Himes and Samuel, I mean, did they both go into the Royal Navy together on the same day? No, no. No? Sammy was the last child at me. That um, your dad's mum had, and he was, um, I think, a couple of years older than me. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, so he was probably probably born. Well, no, he. he hang on, I'm, I'm confused now. All right, he was a couple of years younger than you. Older than you. Older than me. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm trying to work out the timeline here. When your uncle Samuel went into the Royal Navy, what year would this have been? Oh, I don't know. He'd be about eighteen, nineteen, I would think. Oh, so we're, we're, so he didn't serve during World War Two. Then he he was. No, in, he didn't. He, he, I, I've got you. All right. It's just the way I had the notes written down. So your dad, yeah. uh, you also had three aunties on your dad's side, his sisters. So there was yeah, there was, was there was Helen. Mary, Mary and Ray. And Ray had a, a stillborn twin, and uh, we don't know if it was a boy or a girl. I never did know, I, and, and I've got to be honest, I was a bit young myself, so I wasn't I wasn't um, there when they took the baby away. Hmm. All I can say is I can remember my Auntie Ray in this big shoebox, all lined with cotton wool. Yeah. She was only a tiny baby. Wow. So, uh, what what was your impressions of your uh, of your dad's family then on the Doig side? I suppose they were okay. But I think the one I liked best was my auntie Ellen. 
Auntie Ella, and she was the eldest sister. Yeah, and the, the um, I've got to be honest, my Auntie Ray wasn't a, she, she died pretty young. Oh, right, okay. So, Did she have any sort of physical ailments? Because she'd lost her uh, twin. So, I don't. I don't honestly know, love, because we did. We didn't mix with one another a hell of a lot. Mm. We were going to school and living at home, and they they were living in well, they didn't live with my grandma. They they lived elsewhere. So yeah, yeah, because this was you your dad's family. Um, so yeah. um, so I'll I'll I'll, I'll mention your mum now. So your your mum was born Wilhelmina yeah. Purvis. Purvis. That's right. And she was born on March the 21st, 1921. That's right. And her parents, I've got written here, were John and Margaret Purvis. That's right. And they had... And my dad. Yeah. And, and they had uh, two kids, uh, and they called them John and Margaret. So I, I really had to write this out carefully because it got a little bit confusing. But, uh, and no, then... The point is, yeah... There was two kids, but yeah. my auntie Margaret John was her son. Um, all right, well, the, I've lost the plot here. Um, oh, yeah, all right, John. The one that was around my, the one that was around my age, we all went to school together. Yeah. My auntie Margaret was his mum. It was my grandmother that brought him up. But his dad and, and uh, his mum, they 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 never bothered much with the family. They lived elsewhere. All right, so I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm just trying I still to. Still don't know yet. I'm just trying I to get this part yet. straight in my head. So John, John Purvis, who lived with your grandparents, yeah. he he was their child, or he wasn't their child. Okay. Yeah, he was there. To, he, he he was Margaret's child. Yeah, yeah, okay. But he did have an uncle, John. That was my son, my, my granddad's son. It's called John. Oh, okay. Well, everybody seems to have the same name to a degree, so it's quite easy yeah, to I get know. lost in the maze of names. Bloody stick to them. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so in your mom's family, she grew up uh, her auntie. Auntie Liz, who was a mother's mother, a mother's sister, I should yeah. say, her yeah. daughter, Will, Will, Wilma, uh, grew up with your mother's family then? Yeah. Okay, all right, so, we've, we've got so that. John, like I say, he didn't grow up with his mother, he grew up with the grandma. Okay, so um, he didn't grow up with his mother, he grew up with his grandmother, okay. I get it. He never, as far as best of my knowledge, he never ever lived with his mother. All right. So, um, your mom and dad, uh, James and Wilhelmina, they yeah. were married in nineteen thirty-eight. Uh, I guess that I, was. I was working. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they and, and they, I was uh, born in thirty-nine. Yeah, but at that time. But my dad was in the army then. Yeah, your dad was in the army then in, in 1938. So at that time, when they got married, were, were they living at the grandparents' house because they didn't have a place of their own or were they still at family homes? They were, they were in their own family homes. My mum lived at home with my granddad and my yeah. grandma and she, dad, dad lived at home with his mum and dad. So when they got married, they weren't moving into their own place. That, that didn't happen until no, years later. And, they moved into my grandma's back room, my oh. grandma's back room, my mum's mum. Yeah, and Margaret. But my dad was still, my dad was still in the army, and he, during the war, I think, oh God, he was he'd be away for a long time each time he was away. But each time he come back, the poor mum was always pregnant when he left again. Oh, yeah, that, that's pretty evident by looking at the list that I'm looking at right now because yeah. um, I've got a list here of your siblings. So, yeah. um. Me, Mary, and Lena. Yeah. Time, Ian, and Jimmy. Mm hmm. Anne, Ellen, and June. Yeah. Then Angela. 
Yeah, so I'll rattle off the dates here. So it was pretty interesting writing this up, Mother, i got to say. So over a 21-year period, from 1939 to 1960, 21 yeah. years, there were 10 kids born. You were the That's eldest. Right. You were the eldest. Yeah. And and you still are. Yeah. Uh, so um, after you, there was your sister Mary, who we believe was born in 1942. And then yeah. um, came your sister Lena, who was born in 1945. And then your brother Himes, who was um, born in 1946. And then we've got yeah. your, your brother Ian, who came along in 1948. Yeah. And then we have your brother James, or as he was known to everybody, Jimmy. Jimmy. J as he Jimmy. Was, yeah, his nickname was Jimmy, and he came along in 1951. And yeah. then um, your sister Anne was born in 1953. I think they more or less followed one another, Anne Ellen, in June. Yeah, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm. We talked about this the other day, mother, and we tried to get the yeah. dates as as good as we could. So. Anne was born in 1953, um, your sister Helen was born in 1955, and then June came along uh, in 1957, yeah. and then the last one to be born was your baby That's sister well. Angela, who was born on October the 3rd, 1960. Yeah. Okay, so just reading a, a few little bits that I have, um, yeah, I maybe won't come to these too quickly so i want to go back to when you were born um in april 15th 1939 so at the time your mum had to go back and live with their parents uh a mum margaret my dad uh, my dad lived with woods I every mean, he always stopped at my grandma's when he came home on leave okay so when he came on home on leave when he was young he would stop at your grandmother's house yeah Okay, uh, and that was Margaret and John Perry. So he would stay there when he came home on leave. But that's right, because my mum lived there with us. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, mother, to those people that don't know. So you were born, uh, and your your initial part of your life, you were living at home. Uh, you were living with your grandparents. I lived in Fort Fifty Four Street, Denby. In Denbeath, okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, like you say, your dad was in the army. Um, he was away quite a lot. I mean, he was obviously, he must have been in, how, how long did he actually serve in the army? Oh, bloody hell, I don't know. I never ever did ask him. Well, he was in the army in 1938, and I guess he was in the army all the way through World War Two. I mean. Oh, yeah, he was. So, I mean, do you have memories of your dad in army uniform or, or anything like oh, that? Christ, yeah, I could remember him in his uniform. Yeah. So and my Auntie Mary's um, his sister's husband mm -hmm. was in the tanks as well, the fight and four for human tree. Oh, OK. So it sounds like a lot of them went into military service in the army or in the, in the uh, Royal Navy, it seems to have been... Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. A lot of people did. That's why, in all honesty, at that particular time, a lot of people left where we were and a lot of them never come back. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so... They all thought they were doing right by, you know, signing in and going to, to war, but yeah. because most of them came back. Well, war has destroyed a lot of families and bloody relationships over the years, unfortunately. And, and I'd like to say we live in a world now where we don't have that kind of conflict, but unfortunately we do. So, yeah, some yeah, people that went long, uh, sh long before they should have. Yeah, we've got a prat like Putin. All right, mother, well, let's not talk politics. <laughs> <laughs> He's up there, mother. OK, so... Um, you, you, so your mum had gone back to live with her parents, your grandparents, and she actually lived there for some considerable time after you were born, I'm guessing. But I'm just kind of curious yeah. because Mary came along in '42, and um, you know, then Lena, yeah, then Himes, and yeah. then Ian. But 
were you still living at the grandparents then? Because it looks like it must have got pretty crowded in that house because... Um, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... Mary, Mary, Lena and me, and I think Heinz, I think the four of us were all there at that particular time, and that was when we were in the children's home for a little while till they got into their um, house and... Gardens. So what? I, what I, I should say is that you went into the children's home basically for. Uh, I mean, how long were you in, in the children's home for? I, I'd say I've got to be honest about a year, year and a half, something like that. Okay, uh, and the reason was because basically your grandparents had run out of room in the house. I'm guessing that's what it sounds like. They didn't have a home. That was the whole point, wasn't it? You mum and dad. This was it. Me, me yeah, your mum and... My grandparents did the best they could, but they ended up... They were living in one room with four kids, so you imagine it yourself. Oh, no, I can imagine it, Mother. I'm, I'm just trying to get to the crux of what I'm saying, is that uh, eventually um, you, your mum, mum's family outgrew her parents' <laughs> house. And, That's uh, right. but she, like I said, my grandma was bloody lovely, so was my granddad. They did everything they could for us, and, and I, I can't, I can't honestly turn around and blame them for anything. Well, no, I, I wasn't apportioning any blame for anything. Them. I'm just trying yeah. to understand the circumstance. So, um, I think my dad. I think at that particular time, my dad was still in the army. Okay, so. Was it like 19... It wasn't until 1953, some 14 years after you were born, that your mum and yeah. dad actually got to move into a place of their own, which, right. which was at uh, 62... 62 Maple Gardens. Maple Gardens, and that's in Kakodi. No, it's in bloody... It was in Methyl. In Methyl, see... I get these things wrong with it. I scribble them down on a piece of paper. It was halfway between Leeds and Methyl Hill. Okay. All right, well, now we've got you up to the early 1950s. I'm going to drag you back now to childhood again because I want to talk about your schooling. So, while you were living at your parents and when you were four years old, you started going to... Um, oh, where's my little list here? Um, you started going to primary school, so... You started... I was still at primary school when we moved there. So, you what, did he? I hadn't moved into Methyl Hill School yet. No, 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 no. We, I, moved, I'm, I'm... we moved into Maple Gardens, and I would, I used to leave the house about 8 o'clock in the morning, walk down to my grandma's, yep. have my breakfast there, and then go to school. All right, we're jumping ahead, Mother. I'm backing you up. We'll get this done. So... You were born in 1939. By the time you were four years old, you started at Denbeath Primary School. Okay? That's right. And you would be there for the next six years. Okay? Yeah. And then in September... It was after, it was after they got... Um, they moved into... Like... And to the new house. It was a new house. It was lovely. Hang on, Mother. That's what... when I went... Uh, what was that about a new house? Sorry, I didn't quite follow that. The house we moved in, and, and my mum, dad, and the whole family yeah. was a brand new house, just built. Are we talking now about Maple Gardens again? Yeah. All right, well, then you must have moved in there before 1953. Um <laughs> Because you left school in 1954, um, but at the time that you moved, the, you went to... Me when we, you moved, we, moved, we moved into the new house when I was about 10. All right. Before I left <laughs> You're all over the place. All right. You moved in to Maple uh, Gardens, it, so it sounds like it would have been... 1949, okay? Probably, yeah. Well, you started Methyl Hill School in September of 1949, so was it before you started that school or, or just afterwards? 
I think it was just after we'd, we'd go into the house that I, I, moved, that I went to Methil Hill School. Okay, so by 1949, um, if I'm looking at the list here, uh, th there were four of you all together, which was, uh, no, five of you all together. There was you, Mary, Lena, Himes and Ian. Um, yeah. th there were five of you uh, by that time when you moved into yeah. Maple Gardens in Methyl. There's still another five to come. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to jump ahead too far because it, it's quite a brain ache trying to keep all the names and the relationships kind of um, uh, in the right place, excuse me. So, um, you went to Methyl Hill. Yeah. And when you started Methyl Hill, you were, you were 10 years old. Yeah. So, but, I mean... When you were at Denbeath, when I'd you were... I'd be when, going on 11, that's, yeah, that's about it. When you were at Denbeath, you, your primary school, do you have any memories of that at all? God, I, I enjoyed school. I always did enjoy school. Well, I'm, I'm talking specifically about primary school when before yeah. you went to your secondary school. Yeah, no, I can remember. I can even remember my mum taking me to the school and sitting me in a chair. It, and and this was at primary school. Yeah. So to get a little picture of your mom, then um, I should have covered this already. What, what was your mother like as a person then? Oh, she, she always was good, my mom. Yeah. I could never. I, I I honestly could never. She then she never screamed or anything at us. All right, we knew we, if we were doing something wrong that would get told off. Yeah. And I think the only time the only time she ever lifted her hand to me was that time I woke, I broke Mrs. Hall's a window in Mrs. Hall's bloody green little greenhouse that she had out the back. Yeah, it was an accident. You didn't do it maliciously. Oh, it were... was an accident. But even Mrs. Hall herself says, "Don't worry about it, Margaret." She says, "It's all coming down anyway." So. Oh well, you were just helping get the work started by the sound of it then. 